please. Stop eating. Stop eating my butt. Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Pies and Pros, and did you know I have a YouTube channel? Because it seems like I didn't even know. I've gone missing on this channel for over a month. Yeah. So anyway, that was my apology for completely neglecting you after posting just one video. And by the way, if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll add a little pop-up somewhere on the screen. Today's video is me letting you take control of my art. You may have seen these kinds of videos all over the place already, but since I've established that I'm unreliable, you can bet I've got another one far after the trend has taken course. I did a series of polls on my Instagram stories with different artsy questions so you could guide me into a sort of prompt for my next art piece. The first poll was to choose between a doodle or a traditional style piece. It was nearly a tie, but the win goes to a doodle styled piece, which was great because I usually go for a doodly type piece anyway, so good job for knowing me. But then in the next poll, which was to choose between a landscape or object, majority voted for landscape and I'm like, how am I going to draw a doodle of a landscape? Because usually landscapes are more realistic or fluid, but now I'm going to have to figure out to how to make a doodly cute kind of way to draw a landscape. Uh, thanks. Next poll came to no surprise. Majority voted for me to use my brain and not to cheat with a reference photo. Yay. Then I did a fun slidey bar poll to see which color palette you preferred, and I was actually surprised to see most vote for a subtle and calm palette. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised though, since my Instagram feed does reflect that. Last poll was another slidey bar thing, and it was to pick the overall theme of the photo. And although the slidey bar lands on the plant slash flowers, there was an actual close count between plant slash flowers and celestial slash magic. So I decided to fuse those themes together when coming up with this piece. As you already saw, I started with a pencil sketch of my idea just to be sure I liked it, and then I went over that with a fine tip pen to make a bold doodle style outline. The tools I use during this video are all going to be linked in the description, so if I forget to mention anything during this video, you can be sure to find it all down there. This is my first time using this particular set of watercolors. It's the Sakura Koi Watercolor Pocket Field Sketch Box in a set of 24 colors. It's a widely used travel palette here on YouTube and I finally understand why. These colors are really nice and vibrant, you can get a lot out of it just with a touch of the paint, and the translucency is really nice compared to some other sets I've used. So this is a solid watercolor set if you're looking for something compact and a good quality. I also tested its ability to be completely portable by using it in bed and at work. Both attempts were successful, so yeah, there's that. My whole idea for this piece was to make sure I got the main parts down. Landscape, plant slash flowers, and celestial slash magic. Landscape was the mountains, plant slash flowers were the surrounding greenery, and the celestial slash magic were the multiple planets in the sky. As you can see on the left, I swatched a few colors to find the right subtle and calming palette you voted for, and for this particular piece, I felt like blues and greens were the most calming. I also added a pop of yellowish pink with that salmon-y color on top, and I actually ended up regretting that, and eventually I started struggling with this piece. I felt that the pink started to make the whole vibe clash and it was a little too much of a harsh color. So I was at that point where I realized this wasn't going to work and it was already too late and I had to commit to the pink. Something as little as one color can really mess your head up when painting, especially when there's nothing you can do to erase your mistakes.
So when I got to that point, I just had like a screw it moment and pulled out the metallic watercolors. These fine tech metallic watercolors are also widely popular on YouTube for obvious reasons. Look at that sparkle. And I don't use this as often as I would like to, so I decided why not use them to paint the entire background since I've already screwed this whole thing up. You can see me even struggling with this as I ditch the koi water brush and use a flat brush to evenly smooth the sparkles out. So this was my final outcome. Again, I didn't really like the results. I wish I tested my palette out a little bit more so that it made the piece come alive better. I also think it would have looked better if it weren't a doodle style, since landscapes typically look better when they're fluid. But I made the most out of your choices, and I had a ton of fun experimenting with you being in control. I hope you enjoyed this video and the pace you helped create. I can't wait to do more interactive, fun videos with you where you get to play a role. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks for watching, give it a like before you go, and let me know in the comments if you are one of the voters in my polls. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!